How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. And this is our first foot birthday review, and it is the main man himself, the six foot four frame. It looks like seven foot in game. It is, of course, Virgil van Dyke. Now, this guy comes out as a striker for chemistry reasons and for positional reasons as well. I um, dropped him a send midfielder just to get David Villa included in the squad for last night's review, but I also played him at CDM. Now, I did play him at striker in a couple of games, but this was all in foot champions, so it was, um, it was very hit miss at striker where CDM is his more natural position uh, being an outfield player from centre back of course um, but does he have the outfield abilities of course I'm not talking about centre back I'm talking about the technical ability on the ball lads today we find that out also in today's review uh, there is a new ranking system uh, in terms of the rating review overall rates in which I will go into great depth once we do at that stage of the video but lads if you do enjoy uh, you know what to do Bring that foot birthday hype. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. And let's hit 1,000 likes upon this review. I know you guys can do it. So if you do enjoy it, smash a like. And if you are enjoying the channel and you look forward to more foot birthday content, stick around, drop a subscription. And lads, let's just hop straight into it. So here we go, the lads. And as for Virgil van Dijk and his price right now, it's 480 to 530 on the Xbox and roughly the same on the PlayStation. It's actually a little bit more. It's like closer to 530 on the PlayStation, closer to 480 on the Xbox. Did play five games in total with the card. He scored zero goals. So uh, in terms of his prowess in front of goal, it isn't there in terms of finishing. He's only got 75 finishing, but he does have 99 shot power. Just twack it every single time. And twack is a mixture between flack and whack. Or twack and... Just hit the bloody ball, basically, lads. That's what I'm trying to say. He's got 92 long shots as well, so he is better utilized from a CDM position because he just offers that kind of defending and physicality upon the card. Whereas, going forward... He doesn't offer skill moves, he's got two star. He doesn't offer weak foot, he's got three star. And he's got medium to medium work. It says he's got the height, he's got the jumping, which I do want to kind of use him there yet again to kind of um, just whip the ball in the box consistently and just try and get headers in on goal like non stop and just see what happens there. He's got 94 jump and 78 stamina, of course, for an outfield position, especially striker. That could be very, very limiting to this card. He's got 99 strength, great aggression at 89. In terms of the defending category, and hence why he should be. A Good CDM. He's got 88 interceptions, 84 head accuracy, 86 mark, and 91 stand tackle, and 85 slide tackle. In terms of dribbling, what dribbling? <laughs> <laughs> he's got 78 uh, dribbling in general in terms of stat, which takes it up to 88 with an engine chem style. But um, uh, he, he doesn't dribble, lads. He doesn't dribble. He's so robotic on this game. He's basically Peter Crouch doing his celebration. That is what he is. He's got 67 agility, uh, 54 bounces. You're going to see in the background right now him breaking up the player in CDM and just um, trying to start moves, but also uh, messing up quite a few times because he did mess up for me a lot of the time. That nearly cost me a goal in the very early stages of the match. We're tuning up in this game, and uh, yeah, man. It's like just makes an interception right there. Look at the strength of this card, man. He's a bloody beast. But in terms of dribbling, I'll get back to that. 67 agility, 54 balance. He is so damn robotic. It is no joke on this game. Stick. <laughs> He should stay at centre-back. He shouldn't delve into the outside positions. Yes, it's a bit of fun, this promo, and I'm loving players out position and trying them, but Van Dyke, man, wow, if this is anything to go by, it's going to be a very struggle to, to keep all these players and um, get the best out of them within those positions. He's got 92 reactions, 81 ball control, which actually isn't too bad, but it could be a hell of a lot better in terms of his first touch, and he's got 92 composure. In terms of the passing... Again, what passing? He's got 61 vision, man. This guy can't pass to save his life. Whether it be, a, well, he can't bend it around players. Let's just say that. He passes in straight lines every single time. He's like the Romans building um, roads, basically. He um, goes in straight lines every single time. He rarely bends. He's got 62 curve. He's got 55 crossing, which you're not really going to need the crossing on the card because, let's face it, you want him in the area if you're going to play him striker. You want him at CDM if you're going to play him at CDM. And, um... Any other positions? I would just, I wouldn't, I'd just avoid it, man. I'd avoid it every single time. 81, 80, 81 a long pass, I should say. And it's got 79 short pass. The short pass on the 1-2s just isn't that great. Again, he doesn't generate any curve on them whatsoever. In terms of pace, it's actually well balanced. He's got 80 acceleration and 89 sprint speed. The shooting category, if you again, if you want to play him strike, uh, he's got the shot power, 99. He's got the long shots, 92, and the penalties of 89 as well, if you want him uh, on your penalty kick take and duties. But um, at second position, 59, finishing of 75. And um, yeah, he's, he's just not an outfield player. And I say an outfield player like a centre back isn't an outfield position, but lads, you know what I'm talking about in this sense of the word. So in terms of pros, 
strength. He offers you that in abundance as a CDM. And going forward, he's a very strong character on this game. He'll outfight, uh, out fights, out strength, out, out battle any centre back on this game, any striker on this game, any midfielder on this game. Van Dyke is a unit. Yes, he is six foot four in terms of his height in general, but he feels seven foot in game. He really feels seven foot. I don't know whether it is because. If he's, well, I don't know what it is. He just feels so tall in game, but he is very, very clunky, and this is because of the agility and balance on the card of 67 and 54. In terms of tackling, 91. I've got no qualms with that whatsoever. Slide tackle as well, not too bad at 85. So in terms of tackling and breaking up the play, this guy, he does that duty very, very well. Breaks up the play and starts moves. He starts counter attacks, but again, his passing, it just ain't there, Chief. It's just not there whatsoever. In terms of interceptions, he does intercept the ball. He's got a large kind of body build on this game. He's got a large leg span, and he does win the balls in numerous situations where, whether it be, I don't know, a pass that's fizzing past his face, he just sticks a leg out, man. And he's, he, well, even if, uh, yeah, past his face, he just sticks a leg out, and he controls it instantly. His height plays a major part in how you play with Van Dyke on this game. You know at centre back, he dominates corners, he dominates crosses, he dominates everything. At CDM, he dominates again, similarly to why he dominates in terms of his height everywhere else in the field. Even at striker, against centre backs, this guy's going to win headers. Crosses, he's going to win headers. At striker, when I used him there, he just didn't offer me an outlet. So I couldn't use him in foot champions as a striker mainly because he didn't offer me the outlet which I did need in the match. He's got shot power, so if you are in a pickle going forward, just bloody blast it, man. Don't think twice, just think once. In terms of cones, passing. This guy can't pass the ball. Even in real life, he's a good passer of the ball. He's a sensational passer. He's almost like, uh, I don't know the word for it, but one of those defenders that, like, um... Not treads water, not breaks water, but it's like the water boy. He passes it forward. I just seen a, an amazing pass the other day in a, a different angle. So one against Bayern Munich for Sadio Mane's goal. That was um, that was incredible, man. 81 long pass for that. You're taking the pace. But um, yeah, his passing should be a lot better in game. Very robotic. This is down to the agility and balance, of course, the passing. Uh, like I did mention, the attacking position, and again, if you want to play him further forward at the pitch, his attacking position is just not very good. Uh, and he's got medium to medium work rate, so he's not going to break beyond strike forces, uh, defenders, or anything like that. He's going to remain kind of... Um, well, what, what's the word for it? What's the word for it? Um... I don't know the word for it, but anyways guys, in terms of going forward, again, three star weak foot, not good enough for a striker, two star skills, not good enough for a midfielder, man, he can't even do a roulette, but anyways guys, let's get into this brand new overall system, that's, I've, um, I've come up with uh, today, but it's been a long time coming, uh, and I've asked for you guys' opinions on Twitter, and stuff like that, basically, what are the five things you look for in, um, in players that you go to purchase. So one would be enjoyment rating, second would be value for coins, ability rating would be an, um, another one, position effectiveness would be another one, and consistency would be another one. So what I'm gonna do with that is mark it out a two in each single category. Basically, lads, let's just get into it now. So flip the screen in three, two, one. Lads, this is the rating. This is how I was gonna work it out as well. You might be wondering, how have you come to the overall rating? Where the hell's the overall rating? It's right in the middle of your screen at the top. He's getting a 7.2 for myself. And you might be thinking, Jesus Christ, this is a shock to the system. This is new. I don't like this. It's too low. But honestly, lads, 7.2. And it's come to a mathematical kind of reasoning to why he's getting a 7.2. And um, basically, I'm giving people a two marking out of enjoyment rating, a two marking out of ability for coins, ability for coins, value for coins, ability, position effectiveness, and consistency. So you get a marking out of those ones from 2.0. So in terms of enjoyment, he did get a 1.2. We times that by 5 to get his out of 10 enjoyment rating, which you can see on the screen has a 6.0. And um, yeah, in terms of the, the overall rating, we times it by, or just basically, we add them all together in terms of the rating to give you an out of 10 yet again. So out of 5, out of 5, it's all out of 5, lads. But it is, it's not like, I didn't make up the ratings last time. I came to a decisive decision myself, but now there's reasoning behind my decisions, which you can see visually on your screen, which uh, should help you out a lot, basically. So, enjoy my in 6.0, that's from a 1.2. He was enjoyable in certain situations. In year, he was dominant in, uh, in physical battles. He was dominant. Passing, Jesus Christ, no. But um, he doesn't deserve full marks out of that, so he does get a 1.2. Value for coins, he also gets a 1 out of that because 
There is cards that last like less than this. If you've got the player of the month, just use the player of the month on off the bench. It'll do the exact same job. There's no doubt about that. Even though there's certain like things like the shooting has been improved a lot, um, it'll probably do the exact same job, especially as a CDM. In terms of ability rate, 9.0. There's no doubt in Van Dyke's abilities on this game. He is very uh, good at what he does do, but he doesn't kind of broaden his horizons. He doesn't break into other modes of the the team as a right winger, as a left winger, as a bloody striker. He's not about that life, lads. CDM or centre back and uh, mainly centre back because CDM, his his uh, technical ability just wasn't there with the card. It wasn't there at all. So position effectiveness is getting a 7.0 in that category. That comes to a 1.4 in terms of out of the two uh, in terms of position effectiveness. Times five, of course, to get the 7.0. Um, yes, again, it's, it's just, well, 1.4, sorry, positional effectiveness. It's just... It's not there with the card. Yes, he can intercept the play, he can break it up, but he can't do anything else apart from that. Consistency, he's getting a 9.0 in terms of consistency because he is consistent at what he does do. He just doesn't do more than he should do, if that does make sense. 7.2 is what it all comes to in terms of the overall rating. So that is my kind of first rating with this brand new review system. And so it's going to be in place now. Let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comment section below. But, um... I think of, it's it's more kind of thought out, lads. It's more thought out. There's more method to the madness, of uh, so to speak. And it gives you more things to kind of base your decision on down the left-hand side of your screen. In terms of the perfect links, you can see Genie. Why now them is there for the perfect link, of course. Dutch and Liverpool. So that's a great perfect link at Liverpool. Strong links. you got Van Arnold at left back, of course. CDM. It's a left back if you want to kind of use it like that. Salah has your left back card in this game. I really want to try that out. And of course, you've got the Dutch icons as well. Jordi Cro Jordi Jordi Cruyff, why does it always say Jordi Cruyff? He used to play for Manchester United. Johan Cruyff, of course, the 94-95 moments card. In terms of the weak links, any Dutch players from like other nations, Quincy Promise, for example, similar players. I could only reckon him at one player, and it was crazy. And it's Fabino, his Liverpool teammates. Um, yeah, I'm just, it's crazy, man, it's crazy. He's got a body type similar to Van Dijk, but it's very hard to replicate Van Dijk's style of play on this game. In terms of key pro, the strength, the key con, of course, is the technical ability. It's just not there. Best game style, I try to use engine to boost the dribbling, to boost the passing, to boost the pace a little bit, of course, but it's just to boost the dribbling and passing mainly. It didn't seem that effective, I've got to say. It takes him to an 87 rated CDM. If you wonder what it takes him to as a striker, 83. That speaks volumes, absolute volumes. In terms of the position racing per league, can't say it. De Bruyne, Pogba, Guendouzi, Fabinho. Fabinho, I reckon, is better in that position than Van Dijk. And I'm talking about CDM. In terms of the Dutch national team, you got Hullet, you got Sidoff, Rijkaard, the icons coming into play. De Jong had stayed ahead of this Virgil Van Dijk as well. And in terms of foot champs right now, so I'm gonna tweak that slightly. I'm going to use sub, I'm going to use starter, and I'm going to say no as well. So in terms of what I would start this guy in foot champions, it would be as a starter because on off the bench, he wouldn't make an impact unless you're trying to like sure up a game or go a long ball or something like that. Starting basically is where you need to do this uh, this card and utilize this card in that sense. So lads, it's going to be it for the review today, this morning, the early review for the day. Of course, there will be another one out tonight. Lads, don't worry. I'm going to try and cover as many of these cards as humanly possible on this channel. And of course, they are all thoroughly done. And um, yeah, brand new written review system. So if you have enjoyed, lads, you know what to do. Bring that hype! Smash the all that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time.